Hi guys, just wanted to let you know I started selling custom polymer clay pens and tweezers. If you are interested, the link is in the description box below. Look for the link for Macari, or you can message me on Instagram, Facebook Messenger, or email, which is also in the description below, but it's misty underscore yt at yahoo.com. Now let's get back to the original video. Hey guys. So today I am going to work on my mom's diamond painting and I already put the ruler on so that you guys do not have to watch me struggle. It's late, my kids are asleep, my husband is probably going to make a little bit of noise in the background. Um, so, where do I begin with my my week? First of all, homeschool, virtual learning is horrendous. <laughs> Let me tell you that right now. It is horrendous. Especially dealing with a child that has ADHD, special needs, anything like that. And then have two of them that have special needs and um, both want your attention at the same time. One's upset and throwing a fit because of this and the other one is, you know, rocking back and forth in the chair as much as he possibly can. Um, the teachers are really trying, but they are struggling to know what to do with these, um, programs. Um, they're using Google Meets, and they set up a... They set up all of these little rooms before they started school and everything and they were set on on having them um, break out into small groups, go into um, go into a big group. Um, he has like four, four people teaching him different things and they're all different levels of, um, they all have different levels of technical. Um, so they were like trying to break up into small groups. They, the ho he would go in, the teacher would, would go in one area. And he'd be like, okay, I'm logged in and ready to go. And then he, they would tell a student to go over there. And then the student is like, I can't find it. Or it's not working. It says it's waiting for host and stuff. And so, yeah, it has been testing my patience. And even though my husband is the one that's mostly doing it, um... It's still definitely frustrating. I, I actually had to do it one day and I wanted to rip my hair out <laughs> because my son is like up and down and rocking back and forth and we have him sitting at a desk in our bedroom and we're trying to keep him in his seat and engaged and with the way they were doing things and they had these big large groups to begin with and then they were only calling on him every now and then other kids are basically unmuting themselves and um you know just talking out randomly um they don't wait to be called on they just unmute themselves and and blurred out the answers and um, the teachers say, some teachers are saying, we don't know how to mute everybody and, and 
Um, the art teacher is probably the most advanced out of all of them. Um, so, um, but like, so his schedule, they just, they just had to change it too, because I think they realize they're teaching them too long and having them, because the, so their schedule was they start at 9 a.m. Uh, they do literacy for like 20 minutes and then they, um, they were doing like letters, recognition and word and, um, sounds and stuff like that. And they were doing different things and they gave them a five minute brain break at like 9.50. So then at 9.55 they came back and they did not go on another break until 12 30 and i was like you guys are expecting these kids to sit in front of a computer screen that long without breaks and so then they said okay you can do breaks um you can do um you can do you can like not do breaks but like they were like you can do you can bring snacks so that they don't need a break and i'm thinking <laughs> You have no clue how hard it's going to be for these little kids to just sit there and for that long of time. So I was getting pretty frustrated um, and, and then the teacher said, oh, I have office hours at this time if your child needs extra help or you know what not but then she didn't really specify like you need to um set up a time like a, a scheduled time i thought it was just like if you need help come back at you know this time and um, i'll be available to help anyone that needs help so my husband went on there to ask some some questions and touch base and she's like, I'm sorry, um, we're on a private lesson um, with another, with this student. And she's like, you have to schedule the time. And I'm like, well, that would have been nice to know. Because then we would, you know, be able to do what we needed to do. And so we just did whatever, whatever my husband had questions about. He just did it and you know like their assignments weren't working some days or they weren't posting on time or like it was just it's it's just it's chaos even after you know being in the second week it's still chaos so they changed the schedule now they're done at 11 11 40 i think 11 10 i don't know I mean, and then, like, they were making it so, um, because they're supposed to provide lunches for the kids, um, if you're, if you go and pick it up, which I won't be able to do, um, having the two kids and stuff, um, because at the time, they were doing it super late, and so... Uh, they were teaching them until 12 something and they get done with serving the lunch at 1230 So we weren't able to get over there in enough time so I mean I think I need a light pad underneath here because my arm is creating a shadow And then I can't see where to put the you know the little oh, this one and then Okay. Now that I'm dying. So so that we've been dealing with that and my husband, uh, as you guys know, he found a job, and then he didn't take it serious enough, I guess you could say, 
And he took this, you know, little behind the wheel testing whatever for the Amazon job and he didn't pass the the exam. He missed it by one point, you guys. They gave him three chances. And instead of getting him better and improving, the second time, he did the same thing. <laughs> he got 79 out of, and he, can, he have to get 80% or whatever. So then, he took it again, and because he was panicking, because you only have three times to take it, he then failed it <laughs> by 75%. Like, or he got it like 75%, so he failed it by 5% at that point. And I'm like, what are you doing? Uh, because I was trying to help with school, and um, there's some family drama going on. And so I've been pulled in all these multiple billion directions lately. I feel like... I feel like the stress is like mounting up so um but prior to this I was on marketplace um because I periodically go on and look and see what people have for sale and and you know like what um, what they have and, and, and whatnot. And so, so because I was on there, I, I decided to look up because as you guys know, I decided to start selling polymer clay pens. This is one that I made myself a few months ago. Um, so I decided to start selling them because I really have so so many diamond painting supplies and stuff that I am just like, gosh, I need to get rid of, you know, things and whatnot. So, um, so I was like, well, I don't want to just, you know, toss them or whatever. So I had polymer clay because I had made this pen for myself and then I... Um, I decided that I was going to start a, you know, start a business and start selling them. Uh, and so I went on there and I looked to see what people were selling for related to polymer clay stuff. Well, I found this really good deal. At least it's in, in my opinion, it was a really good deal. So the lady had it listed at one, once upon a time for like a hundred and $75 because she had like all this like cool stuff so I so I seen it on there for a few weeks and I you know just kept my eye on on it to see I didn't actually think my husband would let me buy it because it was so expensive and you know since we figured he had this new job lined up and um, we should be fine. I um, I decided when I saw her lower the price down to 125 I decided to talk to my husband about it. And you know I made a few um, I made a few pens and he basically told me that if I sell the pens that I made, that I could buy it. Problem was, um, I asked him if he could grab me something out of the bathroom, um, one of my varnishes, things, and he told me it's not in there. And I said, yes, it is in there. You know, I know it's in there because that's where I had it last because I was um, sealing 
uh, my pen in there and um, because it's like um, a lot of um, space in there to work well a lot more than trying to do it out here on on my table and stuff so um, it was like you know a few weeks ago when I was doing the ceiling for the calendar stuff that I made but um so he's like no it's not it's not in there it's not and I'm like yes it is and so you know he goes in there and he opens the door and he looks it's not in here did you touch anything in the closet to see if it's actually in there Andrew no I didn't think so why because as soon as I went in there and I I said, what will you give me if it's in there? And he said, I'll let you buy whatever you want for your polymer clay stuff. And I said, okay. I open up the door. I literally moved. Like I think a washcloth or something was thrown on top of it. I moved the washcloth. It was there along with my um, Mod Podge. Because I was in there sealing stuff that day so I was like look <laughs> and he's like no way I was like you gotta actually look when you say you're gonna like look you gotta move stuff around a little bit so then I was like I, I, I let some more time go by before I Claimed up on that um, because I was, you know, being a little nice about it. And since it was getting closer to him working, um, I figured, you know, why not? I'll ask him. See, you know, again, if if I can do it. This lady, because like, so my favorite thing with polymer clay is Skinner blends. I love the ombre look of Skinner blends so and I could not even come close to a nice Skinner blend by hand so you know I asked him you know like at least if I could get a pasta machine well with the amount of stuff that this lady had in you know in the thick you know the stuff that she was destashing like it was pretty good like so she had one of those Sculpey oven bake clay studio kits and I looked it up on Amazon and the thing is $200 so when I saw she had a list over 125 you guys I was floored the that kit by itself is like so like in like it's so expensive by itself and so then um so she she had um you know not the full thing obviously but she had all of the accessories with it um a lot of the clay packages that she because she sell, sold me clay that thing is full of clay like that box is full of clay she she gave, she gave with it she gave me two atlas 150 um pot like clay machines and i'm like seriously so i you know i looked to see how much that cost and when i looked it up it said it was like 60 something to 100 dollars. so on on amazon so it was, you know, not, it was not only just, it was not a cheap pasta machine either. So I was like, oh my God. And then on top of that, she had a, a little Black & Decker oven. And on top of even that, you guys, she gave me pretty much anything arts and crafts that she did with it. And so... I mean, I found some, some crazy things in there. 
Um, cause I, I think she was a jewelry maker. Like she made um, jewelry out of the stuff that she, that she was doing. Um, so it had like some jewelry making stuff in it. So I can make jewelry, earrings, she had like earring stuff, um, necklace stuff. She had beads and, you know, different things that she made. And so, um, I was just like, wow, she, she literally gave me everything. She didn't even keep the stuff she made to try to, you know, sell it. Um, but, um, she gave me all kinds of, um, like little cookie cutter, well, clay cutters. I think they, they came with the Sculpey thing. Paint brushes, dotting tools, um, varnishes, the clay cutter, um, you know, like razor blades. Like, it came with all kinds of things. Like, I was amazed with how much stuff it came with. But, you know, um, and I actually got it for 115 I was able to negotiate 115 But then, my husband's like, now you just need to sell your pens. <laughs> I did sell one so far. But, you know, you guys are still learning, so they're not the most perfect pens in the world. They're not Crashleys, <laughs> that's for sure, uh, pens, but I'm still learning. I have been working on caning and different techniques, um, so it's been fun, though, and I've really enjoyed it, and I've kind of um, been doing like going through all of the stuff that that she sold to me and stuff so um it's it's taken me a few days to get because she the she had a box from amazon that she sent up sent with my husband so it had a lot of a lot of things in it so I've been, you know, sorting it out, setting my table up a little bit, um, setting my area up so that I don't have to, to move around too much, um, as far as, like, I, I wish I kind of had a separate table from this table, just because, um, you know, it's, it's, Kind of a lot going on on my table and so I've just um, I've been spending some time working on clay stuff and getting stuff listed uh, for sale on I've been using Macari but they just changed their sales prices and stuff so I'm probably um, considering Etsy maybe again or eBay or just setting up my own, my own domain, but I haven't fully decided. I keep forgetting I don't want to do this last row. Oops. What am I doing? F. Um, so that was exciting for me. Like, I was super like, oh my god, I, I feel like I am like a, you know, like kid on Christmas. Like, I never, I, I was like, other than getting diamond paintings, I never get that excited. So my husband's like laughing at me when he walks in the door and I'm screaming. So I pretty much sounded like I did when, um, when the Mayan painting came. So if you guys have watched that video of the Mayan unboxing, 
then you will he you will know how I screamed and he walked through the door and I was so excited. Um, but I am gonna try to do some cover minders and I'm gonna try to do some pens and um I, they, the magnets are on their way. Well, I don't think they left yet, but they will be on their way. Um, I made these cute little turtles, you guys. Look at these. For little cover minders. They're super cute. I love it. This one's head got a little... He's got a little less of a long neck. <laughs> but, I mean, they're super cute. I love them. And then these ones are actually my favorites. Like, one of my favorites. I love how the design came. Um, so, I was looking up tutorials and I found the, the tutorial. I don't recall... Um, the video of the YouTuber's channel name at the off the top of my head. But um, she was making um, little cute turtles um, in, like, in it, they had hearts on their back. But I tried to, I tried to do what she did and, like, draw it on the back and it did not come out well. So... I was like, what am I going to do about that? It's like, it looks so, it looks so messy. And so I didn't like how it, it turned out. And that's when I was doing this um, blue one. So I didn't like how it turned out. So I did this print on the back. Um, I did this print for something else. And, and you know, it's the same color. So... I was like, oh, I I like how this turned out. And then my husband's like, you could put that on the top of your turtle. And I'm like, what? Yeah, I could. <laughs> so I decided, well, I'm going to try that. And then, so I didn't want to um, lose the shape of it too much. But because I tried to, underneath this, I tried to put a heart, which is why it's up higher too. So then I just threw this over the ugly heart and now it looks cute. So, so there's that. Um, I have been making some amazingly cute pens. They're, I mean, I'm getting better at making them. <laughs> so if you've seen some of the ones you're like, oh my God. <laughs> I'm getting better at making them. I've, I've done a lot more research on things, and so I'm getting there. Let me see if I can find one of my, so this is one of my favorite ones, and it's like all glittery. And then, um, I have another one in here somewhere. Oh, it's this one. I love this one. It's super sparkly and shiny. That was my attempt at a rose cane. <laughs> so, anyway. So, I've been doing that. Uh, and, you know, just... Just, you know, getting my feet wet, seeing how things are going to work out. And um, I told my husband, you know, if not, I can always sell the polymer clay stuff. You know, like, I bought it, so somebody else is bound to buy it. And I don't really think I need two clay machines, so I might actually um, get rid of one of them. I, I don't know yet, because I worry... Then I might break it or something and then I won't have one at all and then I'll be sad. Because I don't think he would want me to buy another one at the price that they cost. Ow, that hurt. Um, so, anyway. It's, 
um, it's been, yeah, and then I, like I said, I have some, some family drama going on, so that's been a little bit stressing me out a little bit, and not that it affects me any, but not really anyway, but I don't like it, so, um, and then my stretcher bars are in Denver now. I At least I'm pretty sure that those are my stretcher bars. At least they better be <laughs> because I spent a lot of money on those stretcher bars um, for both of my really, really, really large paintings. And then I'm just waiting for couple other packages from some of these other um, diamond painting companies that have messaged me and asked me if I wanted to test their products and um, yes I totally don't mind testing products um, and giving my my review I have also been working on the love beach and I had to use some of my dot stick on it because where the where the um, wooden bars were stuck to the canvas when they sent it to me, um, it I guess it must have you know, picked up a lot of the glue because the sticks are sticky, but the canvas is not in all the places. And, um, so I've had to do a little bit of a uh, repair work on it, but the size of it's great. Like the size was really good, a really good choice. So the details of it is coming out really well especially even for a round so because I um, you guys know um, unless you're new to my channel that I mostly like squares because of the de the details so I also saw that some people were confused not just it wasn't just me that was confused about the dreamer design canvas um, being round, um, Liberty Light, um, apparently, I, I guess they listed it as a square or they forgot to update in the description that it was round or I don't know. Honestly, when I ordered it, I didn't pay attention at all, um, because they do squares mostly and I knew that they had one round but everyone kept saying that there was only one so I didn't even suspect that um I didn't even suspect that it would be round because you know no one said anything so so that threw me off a little bit but and so some some people are like I'm glad I'm glad I saw the review because I, you know, thought it was going to be square and then it was round. And so, you know, so just, just know if you're going to order and you're, and you're a square lover, um, just make sure you read the descriptions now on Dreamer Designs because they are selling round diamond paintings. Which I kind of wish they didn't do that unless they were going to do an option for both. Because those of us who like squares only, which, you know, like, um, up until like about six months ago, I didn't even, I didn't even want to, well, it's only, it's been a little longer than that. It's only been a year now. Um, because I tried it, I think the first time in, in October, because I did, um, last year's Drills and Chills, um, with, 
a fall picture. So I, I up until then I was like, I'm, I'm not trying rounds. I don't want spaces between and, you know, having to seal them and, um, but then, um, I actually recommended to my son's, um, occupational therapist that she try, um, Diamond Art Club for, for it. And so she, she got Rainbow Rose and she tried it and then she showed me, oh, look at it. And I was like, oh, that's that actually pretty good. And like, I think I want it now. Um, and then, you know, I was working on other projects, so, so it took me some time to actually get it. I didn't, I didn't buy it until I decided to start doing my channel. So, let's see, number three. Yeah, so, let me skip the color. Hold up. <laughs> I don't even see any threes, except at the bottom. So, I look, yeah, I looked at the hers, and even though it's not squared, it still had pretty good detail, so I was like, oh, let me try that. And so, I, instead of trying um, Diamond Art Club first, I decided to just buy a small one off of Amazon, a 30 by 40 which is actually like a 20 what is it, 35 by 40? So it's probably like a 35 by, or 25 by 35, something like that. So it's like a little bit smaller. I tried it and I liked it, but then I, I really wanted to get the bigger version of the, of the canvas because I want the full rainbow effect detail. It was a, like a forest scene. And then started my rabbit hole of liking landscapes. <laughs> um, I haven't I haven't pulled Ocean Wave out in a little while because I've been doing um, my mom's diamond painting, and I've also been working with my clay stuff, and I also have been working on the Love Beach, so. Um, because I, you know, um, want to get those reviews done sooner rather than later. So, that's the one I'm working on. And so we'll see how it goes. I'm definitely going to have to seal it in order to keep those, um, areas that because there were some areas that like I went to stick it down and it like it didn't stick and then I like turned the pen and then it it stuck but I don't know if that necessarily means it's really stuck down really like well enough so I'm definitely going to seal it after it's done because there's nothing more that drives me crazy than um, missing diamonds. And why is it that every time I frame a diamond painting, I always, when I go to turn it over and I look, I'm like, oh my God, there's like five missing. Um, but that's why um, I will be happy when I get done with all of my Hooligan because I cannot stand popping diamonds anymore. I have a lot, lot, lot left to do because I ordered 36 diamond paintings when I lost my mind a few years ago when I first found out about diamond painting. So... Honestly, I'll be glad when this one is done too. This one doesn't have popping drill issues, but 
It has issues with the gems fitting properly and at this point, like this ruler does not line up perfectly, but it's close enough. So I'm just gonna go with it. And as long as it's in the grid at some point somewhere, then it should be fine. At least, uh, as long as it, oh, why do I keep doing that? As long as it's, you know, within its, um, I could probably get away with doing this row, but I'd rather just stop on a full row than this, this one down here. But, this is actually my second time doing this painting because I did one for my niece too. And it was all over the place too. So. Have you guys got your Drills and Chills 2020 diamond paintings yet? Have you found it? Because it took me a long time to find it. Well, not a long time, but I was flipping back and forth um, which ones I wanted to do. So, and you know, whether I could get the size I wanted because if it wasn't big enough, then it had to be, it had to have good detail on it. You want to grab the diamond painting real quick? What? You want to grab the um, diamond painting real quick? So, the picture that I chose, my husband, <laughs> when I showed it to him, he laughed because he says that there is a pug's head in the umbrella. That this is the head part, these are the ears, this is like the mouth area, and these are like the nose and the eyes. And I laughed because... When I looked at the finished, because um, I got this from Amazon, when I looked at the finished product, it really does look like a pug, you guys, on the umbrella. So I kind of giggled and laughed and said, that's got to be the one. Um, I don't know much about the image. I did try to do a reverse search on it. I don't know um, who created it or, or if it was meant to have a pug dog in the umbrella or if it's just you know, the way it was made because of how, uh, but, um, squares are pretty hard to find on Amazon. At least I struggle to find them. And so I saw that it was square and I was like, that should be, you know, decent enough quality. Um, cause I wanted to get something that I could live with. I'm not, I like Halloween, but I did not. I wanted something that I could display anytime I want and not have to be like, oh, it's Halloween. We got to take down this picture and put this picture up. So I wanted to find something that I could live with being up, you know, whenever all, all year or, you know, whatnot. So that's what I chose. I really, 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 really wanted Diamond Art Club's, um, what was it, Fall Time, I think? No, Lover's Lane. And Fall Time. I mean, all of the, the ones I, that um, the artist did. And 
They discontinued Lover Stroll, which I was totally bummed about because I really wanted that one. I looked in the de-stashing groups. I can't find it. So I ended up picking that one instead. Um, and I was flipping around from that one and, or like this really cool looking tree that was like, it's like partially in the sunlight and then it, and then it like fades into like dark, darker colors. So it almost looks like it's got like an ombre effect on it. Um, due to the lighting and I really liked that but I couldn't find it in the price range with the size that I wanted not for lack of searching though you guys <laughs> I searched high I searched low I searched every word combination I could think of to find it and I just I couldn't find it I actually um I actually originally saw it in a five panel, which is what I was looking for, is the five panel for it, but I couldn't find it this time. So, because I've never done a five panel, I wanted to see what it would be like to do a five panel. Because my husband is totally intimidated by um, framing it. <laughs> Every time I talk about getting a five panel, he's like, oh my God, how am I going to frame that? Or how, how are we going to hang that? And like, he, you guys should know that if he hangs paintings, he's got to, he's got to get them pretty accurate. Cause I'm like, nope, it's too high. Nope. It's too low. By the time we're done, he's just got a big giant hole in the wall cause he's frustrated. <laughs> just kidding. But yeah, so he basically wants to rip out his hair because I'm like, it's too high. It's too low. No, no, it's not right. It's not right. If you're not... And then he's like, it's, it's good enough. No, it's not. If you're not going to do it right, then I won't leave you alone until it is. <laughs> so he's like, man, who's going to hang that up? <laughs> Uh, it's like, he's like, how are we even going to put these stretcher bars together and put them on and get the, how are we going to do that? <laughs> like, I don't know. We'll figure it out. I just don't, I just worry about finding a large enough space to be able to put them all together and side by side and then be able to wrap them. I'm going to have to do it on the kitchen floor, I think. So... I don't know. Well, actually, I don't have to do it on the kitchen floor if he fixes the god-awful table we have in the kitchen. <laughs> so, uh, the kitchen table has been around for like 400 years or something. <laughs> okay, well, only three generations, but this thing has seen its it's better days, okay? Uh, during our move, the leg snapped off of it. And I was like, yes, we can get rid of that ugly, wretched table. Nope, he wants to go to Home Depot and buy these things. Like, I think he bought four of those L brackets for one leg, you guys. <laughs> My husband is not the handyman, I'll tell you that. <laughs> so he put the he put the brackets on all four of them to brace the leg. He flipped the table over and the leg the leg that is supposed to be straight up and down is like this. <laughs> So then he gets the leg pulled out to a little bit straighter, but it's like stuck because he has it screwed or yeah, screwed. He brought screws, doesn't have a drill. So had to do it by hand. The drill, the, the screws are sticking out because he couldn't get them to screw all the way in one or two. They were too long and he's afraid that they're going to go through the other side of the table. So that's that. Then 
he had he had turned the table so that I could see the side that needed the the repair. There is a gap. <laughs> there is a gap from where the leg isn't even touching the table, you guys. <laughs> My brother-in-law is like, what did he do? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> he repaired it. I was like, no, it's got to go. You got to throw it away. He's like, I'm not throwing it away. That was my grandparents' table. I'm not throwing it away. <sighs> the thing is barely even like all together. So, but he really, really, really wants to keep it. And... I usually put my foot down and we're like, no, we're getting rid of it. But since it is like a family, like his, his dad didn't even want it. That's why we ended up with it. <laughs> I think as soon as his dad could get rid of it, he did. He's like, oh, you need the table. No, he don't need the table. We're fine without it. But you don't got a table. No. We don't need a table. Yes, we do. <laughs> like, oh my god. Nobody sat at that table. Well, my five-year-old has now sat at the broken table. But. I tell him, don't lean on it. <laughs> you might break it. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna... Like, look over one time that he's going to be falling down with the table onto the ground. And then I will be telling my husband we're getting rid of it. <laughs> as soon as my kids get hurt on it, we're done. So, um... <sighs> It's definitely a struggle to come back and do diamond painting when I want it, when I like to do claying so much. <laughs> but this is nice too, though, because it, it does it does give me you know relaxation and stuff like that. So, which you know I could definitely use. We're trying to keep our kids on a good sleep schedule so they're not up all night trying to sleep all day or you know why not and some days it goes really well and some days they do it does not go well so it's just a, a matter of trying to keep the balance Then we get a notification saying that the kids are going to go back to school. Well, my my youngest is supposed to start um, EC3, which is early childhood. So it's preschool three for three-year-olds. So he's supposed to start in on September 14th. Now I'm stressing out a little bit because... I don't know what the right answer is and I don't want to make the wrong decision but I'm definitely worried about this whole COVID thing because the schools that are open now are talking about closing and quarantining and all these things and I'm thinking Oh my God, how are you going to keep a kid, i.e. my kid, that won't, that will not wear a mask. He'll wear a mask on his face for two seconds. He will open and close his mouth and play with his mask the entire time it's on his face. So how am I supposed to keep my three-year-old masked for school? He doesn't understand he doesn't know that he's supposed to keep it on he doesn't know he's not supposed to play with it he doesn't know 
Like, he hasn't, he doesn't know he's not supposed to put things in his mouth. Like, he's a kid and so it's, but he also has an IEP. So he is, and, and they also said that they have nothing in place for his age group preschool because they're offering in-person learning. So it's like, okay, so you want me to send my child to school and possibly get sick or get me sick because I'm pretty sure I'm high risk for getting it. Um, and it's like, I don't want him to fall further behind his peers. So it's like a, a total... It's a total crapshoot, you guys. Like, I don't know. I don't know what the right answer is. Part of me is like, no, he needs to stay home. And then the other part is, so they're only allowing um, early childhood kids to go back preschool um, three and fours year olds. And they're not... They're not going to allow the kindergartners to go back until October. So, they did change the time frame because with his old schedule, I was like, how am I supposed to take him to school when I'm supposed to be sitting there with my kindergartner with his class. So, like, everything's a mess. They, it, it, it's, like, not well planned out, I don't think. And, like, every week it's something different or they're changing something or, I mean, they've had the whole summer to figure this out figure out the best plan for everybody, the safest plan for everybody. And I feel like they don't, they still are not, they still don't have a handle on it. Like, don't, they, they should have been practicing. I don't know when teachers go back to school, but they should have had breakout sessions and stuff with each each teacher like these are things that should they should have been teaching them at home prior to school starting so that there are less malfunctions or that you know someone can help because you know like something happens and they're they're like well we don't really know how it works it's like you guys are supposed to be the ones to help us figure it us parents who have no clue to figure it out. Um, so the, they they have this mode and they call it, I think it's presentation mode or something like that. So basically whoever's microphone is unmuted and um, talking has the floor. So it will flip back and forth between those who don't have their microphones muted. So of course, you know, the kids that are popping off, picking their noses and stuff with their, with their thing off, then, um, you know, the microphone unmuted, then they are popping up on the screen. And so they're like asking my, my son a question or something. And they'll be like, what do you see in this picture? And then all of a sudden you see one of the kids pop up because they unmuted their microphone. And it's like, well, I don't see the picture anymore because now we see the kid picking his nose. <laughs> so it's just, it's, it's been a mess. And, um, they, you know, they are finally like acting like maybe they might be figuring it out, but then, um, uh, they, they decided to break up the groups into small groups, which has been nice because it leaves less time for my son to to not get called on because so 
if my son's not getting called on, he thinks, like, the teacher's not watching or something. So, he's, like, acting out, and he's, like, like, can't sit still at all. He gets it from his father, for sure. Um, so, my husband's really tired. He will start rocking back and forth, or he'll start twitching, or he'll, like jump around or whatever it is and it drives me absolutely nuts it's like watching my five-year-old when he's tired because he's like i don't know i can't even explain it and then he's got his mouth like wide open making some stupid noise and really gets on my nerves and i'll be like could you stop that he doesn't even know he's doing it but You know, it's, it's funny. Like, his, I feel like his brain, like, never shuts off fully. Because then, like, sometimes he'll be, like, asleep at night. And then he'll start laughing. I'm like, what the fuck are you laughing at? Oh, God, you're funny. Um, so, I usually will, um... Like, tap him and say, you better not be dreaming about another woman. <laughs> or, I'll be like, who are you dreaming about? <laughs> what were you doing? <laughs> and then he'll answer me, but he doesn't answer me with a coherent answer. He'll be like, Ugh. and I'm like, what? What did you say? And it's like, he he's not fully awake, but he's still responding. Until I like yell at him because I'm like, I can't understand you. Will you speak up or speak clearly or talk English or whatever you're doing? I don't know what you're doing. So, yeah. I, don't, I just, I don't think his mind ever stays quiet. Even in, even in his sleep, he's talking. He's a very talkative guy, so... If you ever meet him, he'll talk to you for five hours, probably. Uh, he's definitely not shy with the language skills, that's for sure. Or he could serenade you, who knows? <laughs> We met at karaoke, so. Uh, fours. There are some fours. Yay. I feel like this diamond painting is taking me 800,000 years to complete. more fours down there but I'm not doing that row <laughs> I'm not gonna fall for it okay we're getting there you guys we are getting there so I feel like um so I did find him another another job opportunity so I feel like I'm going to have to really buckle down on my scheduling when he starts working because I want to be able to create content for you guys still and I want to be able to sell and, and do all the things I need to do for the diamond painting pens and you know all of that stuff and so, I'm probably going to have to film at night instead of during the day. Because it's pretty much going to be my only time without kids interrupting and screaming and fighting and, you know, all of that. And, um, I don't mind them interrupting. I just, it seems like when I 
am trying to film, they will act up more, like they'll fight more so that they're like screaming on the top of their lungs. And who wants to hear that? Not me. I'm ready to sell them at that point. <laughs> Just kidding. I love my kids. They're just big, huge handfuls sometimes. <laughs> so I am down to my last like two or three colors, I think. So I should be getting done and with this section in no time. Every time I work on this painting, it makes me miss my mother even more. I think I have like three colors left. There's just a lot of these number sixes in there. So, I did hear that they're going to be doing um, a Chuck Pinson thing, but I don't, I don't have any Chuck Pinson paintings, and not that they're not amazing and beautiful, I feel like I already have a lot going on, so I don't think... I don't think I could take on another challenge at this point. So I think I'm going to have to not do that chat, that, that event. Even though it sounds fun, like everybody working on Chuck Pinson painting. Oh, and if you guys didn't hear, Diamond Art Club is now um being sold in Hobby Lobby so that means that if you know they ever are not on sale you can use a 40% off coupon because I think Hobby Lobby always offers a 40% off coupon so I don't know any further details other than the fact that they are selling them in Hobby Lobby, which is amazing. Um, because, you know, their website right now is pretty bare minimum. And, you know, they're only getting a certain amount of shipments for at a time and stuff. And so I don't, I don't know much about what they're stocking. It looked like they had a few Chuck Benson um, paintings and stuff. I, I actually haven't gone. Um, this is just what I've seen around online on the internet. Um, so I have no idea what they're stocking or um, just that um, they have a few of the Chuck Bensons. I don't remember the specifics. The only thing I can really remember is they have the, the cat that's hiding behind its tail. I don't even remember what it's called now. But I think that's really cool that you can finally buy a Diamond Art Club locally. You know, and you just gotta go to the store and get it. Plus, you know, you get a, like a little bit of a discount on it since they're selling it at Hobby Lobby. I personally am not fond of Hobby Lobby. Um, they always seem to be in some kind of controversy. Virgie, ver, bleh, controversy. I can't say the word. <laughs> oh my god. Um, it, it seems like they're always like, I don't know. A few years ago, I think they were in a, in a hot debate of whether they should serve someone who is, um, like part of the LGBTQ. Q 
community or something like that, I think. And I wasn't too fond of that. So, and then the way they treated their, their employees during COVID, they ended up, um, they said that they were like, um, you know, a necessity or whatever. And so they stayed open even though they, they were being fined to close. They were being told that they were going to get fines if they didn't close. So then they closed and then they furloughed all their employees. So I thought that was pretty crappy. Um, because I think, um, if I'm understanding it correctly, when you get furloughed, you don't get paid. Like whatsoever. So... I thought that was pretty, pretty crappy. I'm, I like, um, Michael's and, and Joanne's better. They usually have um, decent coupons too. And I think Joann's actually uh, matches other store coupons. So um, at least they did when I purchased my, um, uh, what is that? My bead tray system thing, the Durris. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Bead um, storage. The one that I have my um, Ocean Wave kitted up in. So, um, I bought it from there and I used a 60% off coupon, I think, or 50%, something like that. That was actually from Michael's. Joanne's honored it, honored it, and you just have to bring in the physical coupon and show them that Michael's has the coupon or that Hobby Lobby has the coupon and they'll let you use it, which was really cool um, because it meant that I could get the those storage systems at a way cheaper price because they are pretty expensive. Way more expensive than I like. So. I am getting towards the end. I only have a few more to place because I missed them. <laughs> Come on. Cool Walker Bay. Thank you. So. I'm going to be wrapping this up in a few minutes. If you guys are interested in anything that I talked about, uh, or if you're interested in the diamond painting, uh, I'm sorry, if you guys are interested in any diamond painting pens or cover binders, let me know in the comments below, or you can look at um, on the Cory shop what I have up for sale um I just am trying to list as many of them as I can or whatever I've completed um so you should be able to to find something and, you know, I was just, I'm just trying different techniques out and stuff so I can kind of get a feel for the stuff, you know, because I actually made these as well, which I think came out really cute. I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put the little, uh, magnets on these too, and then my cute little cover minders. Um, so... Um, this is like my latest pair of tweezers that I made. This is like a glitter pearl 
um, the glitter pearl clay souffle clay so I'm just trying to get the last two that I did not fill in. So, like I said, if you have any questions, comments, uh, let me know in the comments below, or you can message me pretty much anywhere. Instacart, Instacart, <laughs> not Instacart, Instagram, Facebook, Messenger, um, yeah, pretty much anywhere. You can message me at misty underscore yt at yahoo.com. Hold on one second. I need my roller. You know where it is. Alright, so let's roll it out. Make sure all of them are stuck down. Alright, now let's remove it. I'll remove it on camera for you guys to see what it looks like. I do like how it's turning out. It's definitely turning out better this way than it would have if I did it the other way. So, alright. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more diamond painting content.